Kathleen Gorey McSorley has been fine-tuning her career since she was eight years old. That's when she picked up a fiddle for the first time. Kathleen grew up around Celtic music. She knew she wanted to play from the moment that bow hit the strings. When I was younger, I'd watch the Grand Old Opry with my dad every Saturday night. And uh, every time they zoomed in on the fiddle player, I would say I wanted to play the fiddle. So finally, when I was eight, they uh, put me in music lessons, and I haven't stopped since. So. That was eight years ago. Since then, Kathleen has performed around the world in Scotland, Ireland, and the United States. She has also won dozens of awards, none as special as the one she hopes to get this weekend. Her latest album has been nominated for an ECMA for Best Roots Traditional Solo Recording of the Year. Kathleen was at school when she found out about her nomination. I was walking down the hallway to my locker and my mom came up behind me and she's like, Kathleen, guess what? And I turned around and I, just, I knew just by the tone like that I got the ECMA. And she was like, you got it, you got the ECMA. I started jumping up and down. Gloria McSorley will be part of the ECMA Gala Show. She will be playing with famous fiddlers, including Richard Wood, Ashley McIsaac, and Cynthia McLeod. Carolyn Holyoke has been accompanying Kathleen for three years. She says Kathleen is successful because of her hard work. She has such a bright future. So, I mean, she could go on all kinds of directions, but um, I know she wants to perform. And uh, there's, there's a whole world out there for her. I think she is someone to watch, for sure. Kathleen has more to worry about than playing and dancing. At only 16 years old, she's still in high school and is under a lot of pressure to balance school and music. Sometimes it's hard, you know, when I'm I found out about my ECMA nomination uh, five days before my physics exam, my final physics exam, so it was kind of like ECMA, I mean e equals MC squared, you know, <laughs> like so sometimes it's hard to keep like focused and stuff on the schoolwork, but my parents have a rule where I have to keep my grades up or else I can't, you know, keep going, so I don't know, it makes it worth it in the end. <laughs> Kathleen says she takes her music very seriously and that it's more than just a hobby. It's just kind of all around me and it's just my whole life revolves around music and performing and I love it that way. I wouldn't have it any other way. Kathleen says she's excited to be heading to the ECMA in Charlottetown this weekend and she should be. For many young artists, events like these are the perfect opportunity to kickstart their careers and to bring their talent into the spotlight. For Stu Journalism, I'm Stephanie Kelly.